witchcraft comes from a very well profound background in the cultures of different people from different parts of the world. Even the English had got their understanding of witchcraft. It comes from witcheries in the English culture and it means so many things to so many people depending on the school of thought. I want to believe that it is appropriate to look at witchcraft from the legal perspective, even though witchcraft has been a subject of sociology, cultural anthropology, history, literature, linguistics, and other areas of social sciences and humanities. How about jurisprudence, the faculty of jurisprudence? How about the knowledge of law as science? Does law have some space for witchcraft? Time shall tell. It depends again on the understanding of the word witchcraft. Witchcraft is defined as activities or exercises that involve spirits, powers, forces of nature and spirits, and the relationship with the supernaturals, or belief in certain powers that are demonic or are defined to be related to evil spirit, bad spirit, the devils, demons. And that is why there is a belief of devil worshipping. There is a belief in certain powers that haunt humans and even harm them. It causes harms, grievances, annoyance, injuries to persons and to property. And people refer to witchcraft by saying being bewitched or being attacked by certain charms and spells, certain paraphernalia, and this belongs to the world of the spirits that is not quite known by natural scientists or by the positive thinkers. It depends so heavily on the school of thought an individual or a researcher is subscribing. If you subscribe to the naturalist school of thought, positivist school of thought, historical or sociological school of thought, as well as realist school of thought, then you may understand witchcraft from a different perspective. However, still I do admit that witchcraft is found within different cultures. It is not a question of witchcraft in Africa, or rather the non-black magic or black witchcraft. It is not a question of white witchcraft or witchcraft found in the United Kingdom or in Canada, in the United States of America. It is not witchcraft found in Asiatic countries, in Oceania, or in other parts of the planet Earth. It's a question of the universal concept of witchcraft. Witchcraft, however, belongs to the mythological worldview because it is a way humans tend to define their ontological and cosmological reality, things that humans do not 
find clear to their mind to understand their nature and where they come from the causality of certain events such things like what causes death why death things that frighten humans things that humans generally develop serious fear about and humans tend at all level and uh, time and space to protect and safeguard themselves and their communities against such things. So relating certain events such as death, certain things such as happenings in somebody's health or maybe loss of a family member or when some unfaithful things occur on certain individuals and certain people that as the consequence suffer the harm known as injuries and grievances such as annoyance such things if related to witchcraft as maybe a practice or an exercise by, by an individual known here in with as witch doctor then it can have some perception of criminality legislative version of witchcraft act chapter 67 of the laws of kenya addresses issues of somebody who pretends to be a witch doctor that means there is a real and true witch doctor and a fake witch doctor and this is what the legislation is concerned with but all this belongs to the world view or known as mythological world view full of beliefs myths superstitions bigotry and uh, dogmas based and backed by religion or belief in powers beyond human power or beyond human capacity if known to be there or to be truly factual by the believers then the witch doctor or the skilled person is a feared person in the community of humans because this is a person that can as well make one die or make one heal from his diseases or problems or challenges or make one rich or make one poor make one lose his or her property or to damage certain property or just make such property vanish in a magical manner i want to think that witchcraft is not within the lexicon of the positive sciences or natural sciences it is not within the lexicon of scientific methods and the understanding of the positive access to knowledge this is a battle between law as science and law as a myth law is a science as opposed to law as fiction but witchcraft within the law within the legislation is asking our indulgence from the perspective of the legal scholarship this again reminds me of one enlightenment philosopher a french philosopher known as francois marie arroué who later on named himself voltaire a political philosopher and a writer a, a person who wrote poems and educated the community of his time he lived in france he lived as well in england and as well as in switzerland but his books were read 
widely during his time. His quotes, I quote one of them, saying that if the idea God did not exist, humans would have invented one. Just to show you how much human beings are weak when it comes to the supernatural beings, their belief and their faith in the unknown, in the mysticism. Again, I would like to quote some of his verses that are widely known. A person who can make one believe in absurdity can make one commit abs uh, uh, atrocities. Close the quote. Mythical world has brought a lot of untold miseries among humans too because some people have been murdered because they were claimed to be witch doctors or to be witches and in that case communities have always dealt with sources of fear things that would cause them some annoyance and injuries if need be. In that manner, so much of crimes has been committed based on witchcraft and legislating witchcraft is not misplaced. What is in doubt is the legal interpretation, is the way the judicial authority interprets witchcraft in a language that is known not to be the language of law, the language of senses. This is the problematic part of the argumentation which from the studies available and scholars available find a lot of difficulty and problem. But it is not too late, it is not irrelevant to make such academic and inspired intellectual conversation of the rationality about witchcraft and its legal stand when it comes to the legal practice, how lawyers can argue using witchcraft as the evidence in court or the facts that can be alleged as crimes, the nexus, the causality of death, which is believed to be the consequence of a witchcraft, is indeed very dwindling and not easy to discuss within a short time frame. It is just sufficient for us to be knowledgeable that the world that is not intelligible is not philosophical, it's not rational, it's not based on reasons, neither legal reasoning. And it would be absurd if any court of law can make a ruling backed by witchcraft. Indeed, such languages or use of devil's advocate or demons or devil worshippers this belongs to another world the world of the spirits mythological world but i still leave it open for debates give us your decision and opinion we have witchcraft in america new orleans the voodism voodism system and beliefs of certain people in america Ku Klux Klan, and their communities even in Europe, in Asia, in China, and in Africa that still practice witchcraft and believe in it to define their ontology and cosmological worldview. Thank you for watching. Peter here, University of Nairobi School of Law, and thank you for
checking out for these videos i ask you to subscribe and remember to press the bell for notifications thank you and bye for now